Okay. Uh, I'll close enough to the mic for that. <laughs> All right, everybody. We're just going to test our uh, our microphones, make sure everything's working good, and then uh, we'll get the show started. So just hang on tight. Okay. Do a test. Testing. Testing. You hear that? Mm-hmm. Is it good? Yeah, there's just a delay over here, but yeah. Okay. That's good. All right. All right, man. Without further delay. Let's start the show. Let's begin. live from a mother's basement somewhere with your hosts, Brev One and Brev Uno. Here on Quality Break Time, we're just two brats discussing various topics that we find interesting. Topics we hope you find interesting as well. Topics ranging from conspiracy theories, the paranormal, health and wellness, politics, engineering and technology, fun, entertainment, and so on. Let's, Let's start, start the show. show. Oh, all right, everybody. It's uh, Bray One. Brad Uno over here. <laughs> Checking in. What's going on? How y'all doing today? All right. Um, today, we're going to talk about Urban Dictionary. Um, give you a little bit of background for those of you who don't know about it. And then uh, Bray One and Bray Uno, both of us, we have, we have actually gotten a few words published on Urban Dictionary ourselves. So we're going to be going over our words and... We're going to go over our rejected words, and there's some other words that we find interesting or funny or, you know, interesting, I guess. So, If you live under a rock, uh, we will introduce the concept of what Urban Dictionary is, uh, but for most of you, I'm sure you've heard of it, uh, It's it's been as popular to have been used in, in the legal atmosphere, um, but specifically, this podcast is focused on the actual creation of words. Uh, we will live stream a word creation actually while we uh, during this podcast. So we've uh, we briefly thought up of a word uh, that we will try to submit to Urban Dictionary. So at the end of the uh, this this live stream, we'll submit our, our live broadcasted Urban Dictionary word, uh, and we'll let you know if it gets accepted or rejected. And we'll show you how easy it is to actually create words. And uh, it's all about in inspiration and creation, and hopefully we inspire you to, to get out and, and think of some wonderful things. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't really know how easy it is. I mean, we're just geniuses, so I mean, <laughs> we're, we're able to come up with words and definitions really fast and just submit them, you know. So for us, it's really easy, but if you're not, you know, if you're, if you're less creative, you may have a hard time coming up with a word and a definition because... It's got to be, I don't know, we've seen words that we, we had amazing definitions and they got rejected, you know, words that we thought were pretty awesome. Because, <laughs> you know, Urban Dictionary is like a dictionary of slang, uh, funny words, bad words, you name it, you know. There are serious words in there as well, but primarily I'd say, you know, just like if you read up on uh, Aaron Peckman's, you know, biography, he, he made Urban Dictionary as a parody of dictionary.com and vocabulary.com. But uh, his slogan's pretty interesting, define your world. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's urbandictionary.com, founded in 1999. Uh, it was, it's a pretty cool website. Um, you guys don't know about Aaron Peckham. He was a computer science major at uh, California, at Cal Poly actually. 
Um, I mean, you know, Cal Poly is a pretty good school. But as a freshman, he developed this website. And uh, I guess initially he had created a spoof version of Ask Jeeves. For all you older cats out there, you might remember Ask Jeeves. I know I used to use it. But uh, yeah, I guess that's what started him. And, you know, eventually he launched Urban Dictionary. So that's really what it is. And like I said, it's, it's basically... It's a diction. It's an online dictionary with a lot of like funny words and things like that, slang words. I know I I've used throughout the years. I've used Urban Dictionary to look up slang terms I, I've heard in like rap songs and things like that, or some new saying that's real popular. I'll look it up on Urban Dictionary. So it's good for that, you know. It's not something you're gonna use to to write a whole lot of like serious papers with or anything like that, but you might, you know, cause there are words in there that, you know, you could actually use. Well, as an example of the uh, validity of uh, Urban Dictionary, um, if you just go on the Wikipedia page, you can see some of the uh, legal citations that uh, Urban Dictionary has been used. Um, as an example, one of the uh, crowdsourced dictionary, uh, dictionary was used in uh, a sexual harassment ca court case in Tennessee, uh, and it was used to define the phrase, uh, quotations, to nut uh, as to <laughs> as to ejaculate. And so uh, there, it does have uh, a legal purpose as well. I mean, it's a pretty important uh, piece of our, of our culture. Yeah, very um, important. <laughs> But, uh, uh, so let's uh, let's go ahead and um, let's talk about some of the uh, the words that we've created and we've uh, I think one of the the, the accepted words are interesting but yeah. I find true value in the rejected words. Oh yeah, our our rejected words were brilliant. I you know that's not us striking our own ego. Like if yeah. if we didn't create them and we came across them, I would accept the word. You know, I would vote for them. Yeah. Absolutely. There, there's a couple in there. Like, yeah. there's some that are like, okay, I can see why that got rejected. But for the, uh, there's a few in there that I'm like, wow, yeah. that got rejected. Yeah. Like, what do they expect? I mean, I, some of these definitions are phenomenal. So yeah, right. <laughs> so um, right now, I think uh, what we'll probably do is we'll go through some of the accepted words, um, and we'll highlight. Uh, so Reggie and I have a combined what? Brat Uno and Brat One have a combined uh, word total of, of what, 15? Something like that, man. I don't even know. You know, uh, <laughs> you can scroll through and we can like kind of count it, you know. But let's see, that's one, two. Scroll down a little bit there. It's three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, thirteen words. Thirteen so far. Yeah, we're thirteen and a few pending. Yeah. And then hope, and then one more pending at the end of the show. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah that's definitely. right. We're we'll gonna see. do that live we'll one. So yeah. And then how many rejected words do we have? <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 so, rejected. Yeah, 17 rejected. So, I mean, you you got to let the creative process flow, just like with anything, if you're a musician or an artist, you know. The same thing with Urban Dictionary. If you're creating words, you know, be prepared to have them rejected. But, you know, don't, don't be afraid to fire, you know. Just go on ahead and make some and submit them. And see what happens because you'll be kind of surprised, you know, what words they accept. When we first did it, we came up like we thought of the like, dude, let's just let's submit some words to like Urban Dictionary. Let's just make up some things. And I mean, our first like couple of words got accepted minutes after we published them. We were pretty shocked. You know, we were like, that. what yeah. the? Like, we wow. were weird. Because it is difficult yeah. to get your words published. exactly. Yeah. So we're like, we are fucking geniuses, you know? If, and if, <laughs> if creation isn't enough to inspire you to want to do something like this, uh, just imagine yourself yeah. sitting in a bar. Uh, so say say you, you create a word and uh, you're sitting in a bar five years from 
uh, the creation of your word. And you overhear a conversation where two people use the word that you created. I mean, if that doesn't interest you, then I creation is just not your thing. Uh, but I just, I envision, you know, Bra one and Bra Uno over here, just in a bar, sipping on some whiskey and just overhearing some, some females like blurred out words like perturbation and oh my God, tag out. Like, you know, just great things. And another cool thing um, about Urban Dictionary, um, Aaron Peckham actually, he wrote Urban Dictionary books. So let's see, like Urban Dictionary, right. Filarious Street Slaying to Find. And that was published back in 2005. And it consisted, it's like a 343 page book that consisted of 2000 entries from the site. So not only, you know, will you be contributing to I guess pop culture in a way, you know? I mean, because one day people very well may look back on these words and be like, oh, wow, this is the slang used, you know, mm -hmm. in the, the turn of the 21st century to the, you know, let's just assume it keeps going, you know, right. the early the early 21st century. Th these are the terms that were popular, you know, as, you know, slang and things like that, you know. Really what, what makes a word uh, part of the official dictionary is acceptance of yep. that word yep. socially. Like yeah, the word really... uh, duh, like D-U-H yeah, by exactly. Homer Simpson, you know, that became really popular. Yeah. And it was, I forget what year that it got yeah. accepted into Webster's Dictionary, but that is a word you now. Know, and it and made it into Webster's. Webster. You know, Webster's. So there's a possibility your urban dictionary word could make it into Webster's if it's, if it's popular enough, yeah. you know, I'm talking about leaving yeah. a legacy behind, yeah. you know, you created a word that right. is officially part of our culture. You know? Right. And then on top of that, if, if, you know, I don't know if, uh, if Aaron Peckham chooses all of the words from his website to go into his books, but you know, if you made you, you could end up your content could end up being published in a, in an actual book, you know, so that's right. kind of cool too, you know, really in a cool. way, you know. And also just thinking about like, so, you know, vocabulary really is a, a foundation of, right. of all, you know, yeah. communication. So say, for example, you want to write a story, you can right. use right. words that you've created. You can, <laughs> you can, you, you can just build <clears throat> upon your creation of words. If you're a rapper, you can now yeah. use some of the words that you've created in your lyrics, yeah. your, in your songs. Yeah. Um, for music, for it, it, at the movie level, you know, uh, it, the list goes on. Um, poetry, you know, writing a, 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 a poem for your, for a loved one, and, and you've created a word that represents them. Absolutely, you know. So yeah, uh, should we start? Uh, I think so. Let's yeah. start talking about some Let's of our words. Yeah, you want to go over what we published first, or what we got rejected? So, first? I'd say let's go. Let's go through. Um, the accepted. I feel like the accepted is 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 fun. You know, it's right. it's good. It, you know, shows you what you can do. But um, the rejected words are just fun. They're okay. just really funny. And All right. you should I lift list off a few of the words and then we'll give some definitions or do I just go through one by one? I say we just go through okay. one by one. Man. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll uh, I'll start off with okay. uh, the first one because I know you wanna. <laughs> I definitely want to tell them about the next one. So, all right, let's start off. So we're going to go through a list of our accepted words and the definitions. So, so bruh, one's going to kick it off here. Absolutely. So, all right, here goes word number one. Pucabulary. <laughs> How do you spell that, bruh, one? And that's spelled as P-U-K-E-C-A-B-U-L-A-R-Y. So you can go to Urban Dictionary and type that in. All right. All right. So here's a definition. When someone makes claims and or statements based on falsehoods, incorrect information, or purely delusional opinion, someone literally vomits words based on bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump's presidential campaign. Use it in a sentence, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I'm using <laughs> vocabulary in a sentence. Uh, Donald Trump's presidential campaign was riddled with speeches using his vocabulary and ridiculous actions. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. Right. Very good. Oh, yeah. There you go. First word. First one. <laughs> First <God>. word. Awesome. <laughs> oh, the next one. The you guys are in for a treat. <laughs> the second one is, is an interesting one. Um, it is uh, pronounced perturbation, mm -hmm. and it is spelled P-I-T-U-R-B-A-T-I-O-N. 
Is that French? I think uh, so. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oui, oui. <laughs> all right. So oui, we have oui. we have several uh, <laughs> definitions for for perturbation as as a noun. Um, the first definition is the act of masturbation while feeling pitiful. Pity <laughs> masturbation. Uh, the second is a sad way to masturbate. Third is a person who cries whilst masturbating. <laughs> yep. <laughs> as a verb, we can use perturbation oh. as well. Uh, Pity masturbating. Masturbation performed under a sorrow mentality, feeling bad for oneself and conducting a masturbation session. Crying and masturbating at the same time. Two, masturbating to express one's desire to be in a relationship. Masturbation done under the condition of loneliness. It sounds really sad. Oh, yeah. To pitterbate. It is. Pitterbation. Um, shall we use it in a sentence? Yeah. All right. Use it in a sentence, man. Commonly occurring on, on or during Valentine's Day, a pitturbation session can be performed by a person. I understand. So it can be performed by just one person by themselves. Typically, it is yeah. one okay. person. All right. Um, so it wouldn't be pitturbation if... I guess couples could pitturbate. Could but they? That'd be, they'd have to be, both be yeah, uh, they, lonely and sad ooh, or at some point. You know, they Your could, relationship wouldn't be very good if... Yeah, yeah. true. You, wow. you could help pitturbate someone um, you know, if that person was... Interesting sad you could iterate them interesting yeah okay right. um, several days after sam dumped pat pat pitterbated while reminiscing on their sexual encounter so you could have i remember pat <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah pat was pretty sad yeah <laughs> Sam must have really had it going on. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> we, we shall continue. All right. This, uh -huh. this might be one of my favorite ones here. Yeah, and I think I think people might like this one. It's pretty cool, you know, and I, we all know these people. So uh, our next word is tag ho. So uh, let's define that for you. When uh, Oh, yeah, tag ho. Uh, it's spelled T-A-G-H-O, tag ho. Okay. When someone uses an excessive amount of hashtags after making a statement or question, uh, it's used in social media, of course. So uh, it's occurring commonly during a social media rant when a person uses a, an obnoxious amount of hashtags to describe their feelings or an event. Uh, B, when someone, usually a douche, uses an excessive amount of hashtags <laughs> after making a statement or question. Hashtag tag ho. Anyway, <laughs> mental state of pure, of the highest order of narcissism. Someone thinking that other people give a shit about their hashtags. So, uh... Use it in a sentence, brah. Yeah. Here it goes in a sentence. I can't stand when Jenny uses so many hashtags in her Facebook posts. What a tag ho. What a damn Does she seriously think anyone is reading her posts anyway? <laughs> um, so... In uh, the penny of many, uh, more than three hashtags used per statement qualifies one to be a tag. Host. Absolutely. So, I mean, some of these clowns out there yeah. are like, you know, 10, 15 hashtags in a statement. Yeah. First of all, I don't give a shit about your statement. And second of all, I could give less of a shit about all the hashtags you use, tag ho. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, like, we, you guys probably all know tag hoes out there, and they probably piss you off every day. Maybe we could start a society. Maybe. And man. the tag hoes. Maybe. Let's educate people. We can make a t shirt. Less tag know, hoes. Yeah. Tag hoes. I agree. They're ruining society. <laughs> yeah. They're fucking hashtags. <laughs> Remember when a hashtag just used to be the pound sign? Yeah. Now we call the pound sign. Wow. Are we hashtags. showing our age now? Like pound? Well, no. Because like I know, used to do the same thing. You know our background, so we'll <laughs> never, it will never just be a hashtag. You know? Right, right. But going along with pop culture and shit. I guess, well, at what age were you when you, when you transitioned from seeing that, the, the number sign to, from pound sign to hashtag like the last year really this yeah. past year because like yeah it's always the pound sign to me you know it always has been yeah. is it still it's, the pound sign or has it now changed? yeah it's it's a hybrid to me it's both okay. since you know the depends pop the culture way yeah it depends on the context okay. you know okay. it's like so you have to of course the... if i'm using it like if i'm writing out you know 
10 pounds, then it's, you know, the pound sign. Okay. But if I'm, if I'm, you know, mm -hmm. using, which I never use hashtags anyway, mm -hmm. but if I am using it on social media, then it's a hashtag, you okay. know, okay. like hashtag synth wave or hashtag McVice. Cause that, I don't know if you guys have listened to this guy, uh, McVice, I've heard pretty, of him. pretty Definitely awesome heard of him. artist. Yeah. yeah. He's good. Does uh synth wave, you know, retro 1980s style music. Pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, you know, so I might do a hashtag for like something hashtag like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Want to read the next word to them? <laughs> uh, the next next word oh, is yeah. <laughs> this sounds good <laughs> you can do it man you can do it <laughs> the next word is vagildo <laughs> okay <laughs> I feel like I'm do it me. do it come on <laughs> you already said it spell it for them <laughs> Vigildo is spelled V-E-G-E-I-L-D-O. And this is a real quick, easy definition here. It is a vegetable or vaginus, which is a, another word that we got published. We'll reference that. Um, used in place of a dildo for sexual stimulation. Dory had a house to herself Friday evening and decided to masturbate using a cucumber vagildo. <laughs> <laughs> dude that word is awesome that is awesome and i want to give a shout out to uh just for kicks right now just joined our live chat thanks for uh joining just for kicks just I, for kicks i hope you're enjoying the show you said wow this channel has some quality content thank you for oh. for tuning in and we we definitely appreciate the support so we, we appreciate it just thanks for kicks. thanks for hanging out with us all right okay let's uh let's read our next our next definition <laughs> And this one, kind of like Vigildo, is right up there. <laughs> well, <laughs> we did already reference it, so. Yeah. And that's nothing. That's thing. brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's so funny. With Vigildo, we had a reference to one of our other words that got published, so. And you can do that with your definition. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. builds and builds. So, that's the cool thing about it, guys. If you do get some words published on Urban Dictionary, be creative, you know, make a reference to another word you've gotten published. It's pretty fun. All right. Okay. Next word. <clears throat> Vaginus. <laughs> and that is spelled V-E-G-E-N-I-S. Vaginus. A vegetable that resembles a penis. <laughs> so here's, here's uh, Vaginus in an example. Like, not like you need it, but... Here it is using a sentence. Sally, stop laughing at that carrot vaginus. <laughs> <laughs> Sally's the Banana slut. vaginus, whatever, you know, <laughs> eggplant. Ooh, we have a, a, a really good oh. word coming up. Uh, oh, one yeah. of the original, the OG oh, yeah. words here. Oh, yeah. um, it definitely has a nice I, long definition. Was, it, was, was that number one or number it, two? It may have been number one. Yeah, because we, we both submitted within a couple minutes of each other. You're right, yeah. And it may have been number one. Yeah. Right, well, it's either one or number two. I, I, I'm gonna say number one. I'm pretty sure yeah, it was number it's one. The big inspiration to the, the name of our podcast. Absolutely, almost. like so, this. This is like Super Bowl yeah. number one right here. You know this. Is, well, all right. Let so them know. this is a uh, a very hopefully soon to be popular word <laughs> on the brevity channel. <laughs> <laughs> and the word is brevity, and it is spelled B R E. H V I T Y. Brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely brilliant. And it is defined as the act of brass keeping their conversation short. Yep. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's, it. That's all you got. That's really all you need for quick, gravity. easy. I mean, it works. It's a it's a word created out of you know from. It's not a combination of words no. to piece into one word. No. It is a invention of right. a word a right. pure invention of a word which is really nice <laughs> well you should still give it to them in examples and so everything like that we've, we've got a number of examples know, right? uh, <laughs> uh so brah this one word displays the brevity of a conversation between two between two brass so, exactly. so i'll i'll be guy one or yeah, yeah. i'll so, be guy uh, two. I, no, you, uh you'll be because you're brah one okay. you could be guy one okay. and i'll be 
since I'm Brad Uno, I'll be guy too. Okay, man. All right. All right. So All right. normal guy conversation. All right. Well, hold on. Before we do that, I just want to explain that the the breath. And we said that that one word displays, you know, the brevity of a conversation between breaths. Mm -hmm. What we mean is breaths speaking to each other. That's all they have to say to each other. It's right. like, bruh, 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 that's it. Bruh might mean, hey, bruh. man, let's go to the bar and go pick up some whores. Or, <laughs> hey, man, let's go to the bar and, and get hammered, you know? Bruh. It might mean, like, like, dude, like, I've got work in the morning, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it can be used sarcastically. Like, oh, yeah. Brah. Brah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, bruh. Like, bruh. It definitely conveys emotion. And disappointment. You know, yes. Right. It's it's a very yep. it's a very powerful word, you know. Yep. So when you're using brevity, you know, understand it has multiple uses. Definitely. Right? Definitely. But, yeah, let's go into our example conversation. Thanks for clearing that up. That, uh, you're, yeah. You're right. I just I want the viewers to understand that, yeah. you know. Yeah. So I want them to use it. You know, I want them to, to to show some brevity. Absolutely, bro. You don't have to have these long conversations Absolutely. with all these fucking words and short and sweet. And shit. Absolutely, Let's get right to the got shit to point. do. Got to like, shit, dude. Oh shit! <laughs> got to get to the bar and get drunk. Exactly. <laughs> but you don't have to say all that. You know, like right. we're we're Bruh. we're adults. We know we want to go to the bar and get drunk or something. You know. Exactly. All right. So let's do our example conversation. <clears throat> so all right. I'm guy one. Hey man, I was wondering if you had plans tonight. Remember you saying that you're free? Hey buddy, you're <laughs> correct. I'm free tonight and I don't really have anything planned. Why were you thinking of doing something? Yeah, man. I was hitting up this one chick and she said she has a single friend. They want to go out and drink with us tonight. You down? <laughs> you know me, buddy. <laughs> what does she look like, by the way? Like, do you think I'll dig her? She hot? Yeah, man, I saw the other, the I saw her earlier, bro. She's pretty cute, man. Hourglass figure, real pretty face. Plus, she puts out. All right, man, count me in. We're getting lucky tonight. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, here's another example of using brevity in a conversation between So, so this was a, a typical conversation. Oh yeah. You guys would have. Yeah. Now this is a brevity conversation. Exactly. So yeah, we didn't clarify that. So the first. Scenario was like a normal conversation people and bros have and bres have and things like mm -hmm. that. But now here's a brevity. conversation using brevity. Brevity in action. And it is a the same conversation that occurs mm -hmm. in, in this conversation as exactly. in the previous conversation, but with a twist of brevity. Absolutely. So I'll kick it off. Brave one, yo. Sipping. Girls? Word. Boom. Two brevity. points have earned. <laughs> That's then, brevity, bitch. Like, <laughs> and then two bras went over to the bar in search of sluts. That's it. That's it. Short. Sweet, That's all you got. You perfect. Know? <laughs> so use brevity out there, people. It's awesome. Very good. All right. Very good. All right. On to the oh, yes. next one. This is a good one. Mm -hmm. This is a good one. Cheers. Okay. All right. Next word. <clears throat> Flesh sausage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Flesh sausage. I mean, F-L-E-S-H-S-A-U-S-A-G-E. Uh, -E. Two words. Yeah. Two words. Right? So, it's, yeah, it's a term. I flesh guess. sausage. Yep. <clears throat> and this is uh, what, what a flesh sausage <laughs> is, is a penis <laughs> or the male reproductive organ. So, uh, in an example, just in case for those of you out there who don't know what a flesh sausage or a penis is, um, John stuck his flesh sausage in a Sarah's vagina, and they both enjoyed it. Oh, my God. Hey, girl, suck my flesh sausage. <laughs> some point <laughs> oh man all right the next word is planate mm. well, let me say something about this next word real quick mm. sure. this is um this is not a a joking word or this isn't like a a bastard word or anything uh what planate is is a word that's not used really anymore it used to be used back in the day, you know, um, but for some reason, mm. it's like a word that's been removed from dictionaries and things like that. So 
I submitted this to Urban Dictionary to bring it back, basically. So mm -hmm. I'm going to read it off to them. Plan 8. Uh, definition of Plan 8 is having a flattened surface. Uh, second definition is a plane in two-dimensional space. And used in a sentence is <laughs> poor Plan 8, head over here, got his head run over by his car <laughs> when he was working on it. <laughs> we'll find it. All right. All right. Next word. Wody. All right. And that's French. <laughs> French um, spelling. Definitely. Yeah. Let me spell it out for you. Uh, W-H-E-A-U-X-D-I-E. -E. So that's a French spelling for Wody. Um, for those of you <laughs> hip-hop heads out there, especially those of you who have listened to rap from like New Orleans, Louisiana, um, it's a term you've heard before. But uh, it's pronounced wo day. And what it is is a friend, homie, or partner in Louisiana. So using it in using a sentence. It in sentence. Using it in a sentence, wo day. All right, wo day. Uh, <laughs> hand, me one. A, hand me a drink, wo day. Wo day. Let's go find some hoes. There you go. <laughs> good. 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 All right. <laughs> Moving on to our next definition. We have pole trout. That's two words. Spelled P O L E, second word T R O U T. <laughs> and simply put, this is a female stripper or exotic dancer. And used in a sentence, let's go throw some dollar bills at a pole trouts tonight, bud. Yeehaw! <laughs> That's right, strippers. <laughs> All right, the next one <clears throat> Slam Funnel. S L A M, next word, F U N N E L. What a slam funnel is, is a vagina. That's it. That's the definition for slam funnel. Um, well, a wonderful thing about uh, Urban Dictionary, as well, is that you can add GIFs. Oh, yeah. Uh, to oh. The, to the, and this yeah. particular uh, word has a wonderful GIF that goes along with it. And uh, did you want to use it in a sentence? Yeah, we'll use it in a sentence. So, uh, slam funnel. Um, so, here's a, here's a scenario, basically. We'll use a scenario. So, guy. Hey, girl, let me see it. Girl, um, let you see what? Guy, your slam funnel. The JJ, let me see it. Girl, okay. <laughs> That's what happens. I, I guarantee it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, um, looking here in the chat, Just for Kicks wants to know, are we planning to invest in a webcam, a webcam anytime soon? What do you we, think, man? We could. Uh, yeah. I've got a pretty fierce beard going on yeah. here. Um, yeah, I need to lose a little bit of weight before, like, <laughs> we, we go on camera. I swear to God, I'm a really handsome guy. I'm just out of shape right now. Like, I promise I'm not making that up. I'm not a cocky bastard. It's just the truth. But right now, I am out of shape and kind of a wild man. So, wait till we get nice and, you know, groomed again. And then we will we will invest in a webcam and you'll see our mugs, you know. Absolutely. Oh, uh, did you want to have oh, a yeah. shout out to... Uh, what was that? Yeah, what was that? Hey, man. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, bud. What Glad was that? You. What's up? I'm going to add... Give you a wrench here, man. Let's see. All right. So Bam. our next word... Bam. Moving into... Oh, we got several words left here. Oh, yeah. Um, is fire words. That's one word spelled F I R E. W O R D S. And this is a word, uh, I hope this one catches some fire, uh, pun intended, because it, it's pretty easy to use, uh, yeah. simple definition, but yeah. I feel like it's it's a pretty common yeah. thing. Like it happens a lot. We use fire words every day. Every day. Every day. Well, a lot of people do, you know? Um, and so the definition of fire words is I words. Love fire words. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's powerful. Uh, <laughs> They are words spoken when a person is under the influence of alcohol. They are also words that hurt. So I'll give you an example. Uh, bar patron is sitting at a bar and he says to the bartender, Hey, beer bitch, give me another Tom Collins now. I'm a paying customer. And the bartender would reply to that rude bar patron with, Sir, those fire words are getting your ass thrown out. Pours a Tom Collins all over his head. Uh, <laughs> Second scenario is uh, a little darker. Um, 
a daughter is talking to a mom, and the daughter says to the mom, uh, Mommy, Dave was being mean to me at school today. He called me an I low IQ cunt. And the mom would reply to the, the daughter, Is this the same Dave that, that was caught with a bottle of Jameson in kindergarten, honey? It's okay, dear. Those were just fire words. They were just fire words. <laughs> it's the daughter cries. <laughs> Good stuff. Good, okay, it's good. good. Stuff. Yeah, it works. Okay, our next one. This is. Uh, oh, I like this. This one. one is now. Before we get into the next word, I think everyone can relate to this because there are natural formations on this planet that resemble human body parts, things like that. I mean, we've seen hills that look like well, you know, a certain. Part of a female's anatomy. Um, mm -hmm. You've seen things like that, uh, other rock formations and things like that that resemble other body parts, things like that. So, mm -hmm. with that being said, our next word is gynorock. <laughs> and that is spelled G Y N A R O C K. Gynorock. Give us a definition, All brown right. one. It's a, it's a noun and it's like Scandinavian in origin. <laughs> 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 what it is <laughs> it is uh, <laughs> any natural or geological rock formation of cave that resembles a woman's sexual organ uh, a vagina cave <laughs> here's a here's a here's actually a, a, a definition we found in National Geographic <laughs> during the monsoon season it is very common to see heavy waters flow from guide rock formations <laughs> Nice. Nice. Yeah, Very good. Yeah, Very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we have a few definitions that are in the works, but one that we will be working at the end of this podcast, uh, we will, again, we will submit it live. We'll, we'll develop the word with you. We'll show you how easy it is to create words and how yeah, fun it is, yeah. especially with someone like a, a friend. Yeah. Um, and so... Yeah, to my count, that's uh, that's all of our accepted words. Yeah, that's all of our accepted words. And now, now we can move on to the uh, the fun, fun part here. Absolutely, and don't forget to stay tuned, guys, because live we are going to be submitting a word on this show today, and we're going to wait around and see if it gets accepted or rejected. And we'll, we'll tell you the creation of how we thought of it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like the inspiration, the inspiration and like the process, the creative process. Yeah, you just know? The, yeah, like people pay money for that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, though. dude. I, it's you know, yeah. You guys are getting trade secrets right yeah. now. I mean, <laughs> I'll tell you one of the secrets. It's uh, first, you got to be awesome. Yeah. You know, yeah. so first thing you need to learn how to do is become awesome. Can you become awesome or are you, you just can. born awesome? You're born, but you can become awesome. Do you have a too. ceiling of your awesomeness? I, I think, I don't know, man. I don't or, know if there is a ceiling. Is it like a vertical? Like, you you know, everyone's born. I think it's unlimited. I think it's infinite. Wow. You know, okay. oh. like, I think it is infinite. Okay. You can always become more awesome. So you could be like the Yoda of awesomeness if yes. you live like 900 Absolutely. years. Absolutely. Just, your awesomeness could keep. Okay. Absolutely. All right. I like that. Absolutely. So you want to stay as long alive as long as possible yes so yes as, as awesome as possible exactly okay. exactly that may we may try to come up with a word for that the pursuit of awesomeness you know some type of word for that all right so uh did you want to <clears throat> kick it off with uh yeah yeah so uh now we're gonna go over all of our words that have been rejected from urban dictionary so it's like we told you guys you know it's like, it's kind of like fishing, shooting, anything like that, you know. You, you throw more rounds downrange until, you know, you hit, you hit something sometimes, mm -hmm. you know. Like when you're zeroing out a, a rifle or something like that, you know. <laughs> you're usually not going to get the grouping you want right away. So same thing with Urban Dictionary, you know. You sometimes got to, you know, mass, mass submit words and see what they accept. You know? Right, right. So uh, let's let's start off with our first rejected it, word. We should note that we're not ashamed of these. Right? Oh, I'm no. actually I'm actually more no. proud of some of these words than yeah. the accepted words. Like we're, I I sit back and I look yeah. at some of these words. I'm like, how did they? Yeah, how did they yeah. accept the others and not these? They're great. I know, dude. And I mean, you know, we could always just try to resubmit these words again. Yeah, you could just see change it up. Maybe we get a different set of, of voters, man. True, you know? true. Yeah, it's true. Oh yeah, but okay, let's kick off our first word. And this is another special word to us because it includes the word breh. Breh. 
So uh, the word is breverage, <laughs> and that is spelled B-R-E-H-V-E-R-A-G-E. What it is, it's an alcoholic beverage consumed by Bres. Uh, using it in a sentence, hey, Bre, can you throw me a beverage? Absolutely, bro. Can you throw me a Absolutely, bro. Let me, let me oh, pop show. that open. Okay, so the, the next word that was rejected actually is a pretty good one as well. Um, and it is pronounced heifer. And the spelling of that is H-E-F-F-O-R-E. -F -F -E, and the definition of heifer is a fat whore. And a scenario in which we could describe a heifer is <laughs> where, uh, would you like to play uh, guy one? Yeah, one? but actually I, have to, I actually have to tell you something. It's not just heifer, it's heifer. Heifer. Yes, that's the, uh, the difference between heifer and R word. Oh, okay. So it's hef four. Hef four. Exactly. Yeah, you're correct. It's kind of combining heifer and whore. Okay, hef four. Right. <laughs> okay. Good. Just had to clarify that. Okay, no, I'm, I'm glad yeah. you did. Absolutely. Okay, bad one. Okay. Um, so here's our scenario using uh, the word hef four. Uh, that fat chick over there will have sex with you if you buy her a beer. Really, man? I guarantee it, man. She's a heifer. Shit, I'm all out of money. <laughs> Did you say either? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, scenario two. Uh, okay. Hey, bro. Do you know that girl, Judy? She's kind of on the chubby side. Judy the half four? Yeah, I've heard of her. I've heard all about her. Half the chess club slept with her, bro. <laughs> so you think I have a shot? <laughs> Pun intended. Absolutely. All right. So, yeah, that's hef -war. That's hef -war. All right. Our next word, um, hoedown. <laughs> now, this is spelled differently from the, you know, the, the hoedown most of you know. Most people know hoedown, the phrase spelled as H, you know, H-O-E-D-O-W-N. Ours has a French twist. It's hoedown, H-E-A-U-X-D-O-W-N. Definitely, th this is something that would happen in Louisiana. Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely, you know. And so, hoedown, of course, it's a noun or exclamation. Um, but let's give you some, uh, some definitions and some examples. So, a gathering of raging Cajuns or Cajun enthusiasts <laughs> that entails drinking lots of alcohol, shooting guns into the air, dancing, mating rituals, sexual <laughs> intercourse in public, gumbo cook-offs, and foolery. This gathering Jenny t generally takes place in Louisiana. I mean, can I stop you right there? Yeah. The just the the first definition right there. Boom. I, I if I was a judge, that that gets accepted. Yeah. But, I mean, that is a quality definition right there. I mean, <laughs> the, the use of mating rituals is just it's fantastic. <laughs> and I mean, all joking aside, like I I have we have no hate for uh, you know for the Cajuns for the people from Louisiana. Oh, absolutely. Not. Or Urban Dictionary. Uh, or, yeah, or Urban Dictionary either, you know. Honestly, we really, what a hoedown is, that can happen anywhere, any part True. of the world or the country, you know. And it doesn't have to just be college students, all right? True. True. So we just want to clarify that. But in the context of our definition, yeah. But uh, here's our uh, next our next definition or example. So, uh, a drunk girl from Louis Louisiana who can't hold her liquor adequately resulting in stumbling and falling. This action is usually accompanied by giggling and or incessant crying. Have you ever personally met a ho hoedown? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But you understand in that. Yeah. So, what I want people to understand from definition two for hoedown, yeah. it would be like, you know, you see a, a drunk girl walking out the bar or whatever and she's stumbling over herself because she's so pissed drunk <laughs> you know and she falls she trips. hold down <laughs> you hold down <laughs> understand absolutely <laughs> that's why it's like an exclamation also it's a noun <laughs> but it's also an exclamation because you could be like we're going to the hold down or you could yell hold down you know <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me type something real quick. <laughs> All right, 
Uh, so here's some examples once again. I, I think you probably have the idea, but I'll still read it anyway. Um, students of uh, University of Louisiana Lafayette regularly attend hoedowns after Raging Cajuns football games. That's a fact. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's very, not. Very true. That's well, not. I mean, false. actually, all these are facts. I don't, yeah, I don't see absolutely. How you could dispute any of it. No. no. Um, all right. During Mardi Gras, it is very common to see a hoedown on the sidewalk with certain body parts exposed <laughs> due to inebriation. <laughs> I've seen that. Yeah. I think yeah. we all have seen that. I, you know what? I still haven't gone to Mardi Gras yet, man. No, no, no. not yeah. not in New Orleans. You oh, know? Okay. I've been to Mardi Gras in Texas and New Mexico. Right. I think everybody has like a little version yeah. of it. Yeah. It's not as fun, probably. But yeah. 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 Cool. All right. And it's a quality word. Got, got rejected. Oh. Um, now the next word that was rejected is is short and sweet, uh, and and it is sweet ass. That's uh, two word, <laughs> S W E E T, and second word is ass, A A A S S, and it is an adjective, uh, and it is a phrase that describes a male who is weak or soft, like a weak ass, a sweet ass, weak ass, you know, you type of there type of thing. Um, it's a common phrase used in southern origin of the United States to describe inadequate males, uh, not only in their appendages but mentally. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, you don't want to be called a sweet ass. Right. Absolutely. So used in a, a sentence, uh, we can, we can, uh, start off with the first one here. I took your girl because you're a sweet ass motherfucker. <laughs> should, I, should I add a little more twang to that? I like Maybe? that. Man. Okay. That's good. You know? The second sentence. His sweet ass is too afraid to fight me, sweet ass. Oh, yeah. That sorry motherfucker sweet ass is sweeter than iced tea. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> sweet ass. Another one. Should have been accepted. I like this one is I like brilliant. This. I like man. this next one. You know? This one, I don't know why they didn't accept it. It was, it was awesome. Start back up. Weird. Hmm. We're, oh, sorry about that. Yeah. We had uh, we some had technical difficulties. Yeah. But we're back. We are back. Uh, so you're on Jucifer. This is honestly yeah. this is one of my favorite. Just from from so you began to say what it was. Yeah. It's, so uh, Jucifer, you know, it's the uh, the prince of fresh squeezed fruits and vegetables. You've literally yeah. created a prince, yes. a mythical god yeah. of juice. Of juice. I love juice. And who doesn't? Who doesn't? I don't fresh know. Fresh squeezed juice. Fresh right? squeezed. So me, I don't know about you, man, but I love I love citrus. You know, um, yeah. I love citrus. To me. Definitely. Citrus is just one of the most refreshing things in the world. Definitely. When I think of refreshing, mm -hmm. I think of citrus. Right. You know, I don't mm -hmm. think of beer or bourbon oh, no, or no. Coca-Cola, no, even though I love Coca-Cola or Dr. Pepper. Right. You know, I think of, of like tangerines, right. and oranges. Well, how far are you willing to go with your citrus juice? Like, are you going to drink a glass of lemon juice? Oh, yeah. yeah. I love lemons. Really? I do. I know, I know lemons are... Are you juice ever? Uh, maybe I am. Oh, shit, okay. <laughs> Squeezing <laughs> juice right now. <laughs> no. okay, so let's, uh, a couple more definitions and examples of a uh, juicer here. Um, the god of juice. Just that simple. So, uh, you know, you might want to say a prayer to the god of juice by starting off something like this. Today, we thank our Lord and Savior, Jucifer, for this abundance of Tropicana orange juice. Boom. Jucifer. Nice. Very good. Use it. Use it. Use it. Remember Next us. time you're in the grocery store, you pick up some Tropicana. Jucifer. You can thank Jucifer. <laughs> all hell. All, all hell. hell. Jucifer. That's God, fine. Jucifer. That's Jucifer. Hell yeah. All right. Next word that was, or phrase that was rejected is. I thought this was a good one. Yeah. 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 Is uh, text bitch. It's two words. <laughs> T I T E X T. The second word is B I T C E H. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's defined uh, with three definitions. And the first is a woman who prefers to conduct her telephone conversations via text messaging only. Mm -hmm. Those women drive me insane. Absolutely. I am a terrible texter. I, yeah. Not that I'm terrible at the act of texting. Yeah. I am terrible at looking at my phone and taking the time from what I'm doing 
right. and re replying to a text. Like right now, if you text me, I'm not going to respond because right. I'm busy doing something. Right. And my day is full of wonderful things and I'm, yeah. I'm constantly trying to create and, and do great things. I don't got time to text your ass every day. We should be talking on the phone, a quick conversation. How you doing? I'm doing good. You doing good? And then we move on. Yeah. But yet they want to text. They want to... I think uh, they probably have a lot in common with, with uh, Tinder, Tinderellas. You, mm. you ever heard of it? Okay. Oh, I, I can yeah. I can only imagine what a Tinderella is. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's pretty self-explanatory. Pretty, pretty. Tinder, it's like a hashtag, Tinder princess. Hashtag Tinder Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> no more Taco Tuesdays. Huh? It's Tinder, <laughs> Tinder Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Wow. wow. They exchange Tinder, Tinder stories and stuff. It's a thing. It's a thing. There's a hashtag for really? it. Really? No, yeah. I did not know about yeah, that. There is. Yep. So there are tagos also. Dude, I mean... We're talking about text bitches that are Tinderellas, tag wow. hoeing, just tag hoeing. Dude, we've got to like create a term for that. Oh god, all in one, you know, a triple threat. Yeah, yeah. like a <laughs> stay away from them. Triple layer Tinderella taco or something. <laughs> Tinderella taco. Tinder <laughs> That's sweet. There we go, man. We're gonna have to submit that. Sounds good. I like I it. I like it. Uh, the second definition is a woman who says that she only likes to talk on the phone via text until you catch her talking to some friend, in quotation, flirtatiously for over an hour. Um, so clearly, I don't know if that's uh, her motivation is just, uh, is that she's not that into you yeah. or or if uh, she's just, you know, there's hypocrisy <laughs> all, of, all up in this princess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like either. how you throw in the princess, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, side note, uh, yeah, like uh, to go off on a tangent. Him, seriously, him, Brad, I, I got some shit <laughs> to talk about. Get, get it off your chest. All man. these princesses preach. <laughs> we in church. This is Bra Uno coming yeah, at you. Yeah. I'm sick of all you princesses out there. All you poor ass motherfucking oh, princesses. Man. Your average education and your average intelligence. Average looks worldwide, in all yeah. honesty. I think, you know, some of the most beautiful women are from Japan and Venezuela sure, and, and sure. you know, America. We, we have some basically women that wear a lot of makeup. And I'm not trying to hate on women. You know, if you're humble and you are, you, you value yourself as an intellectual being and, and you keep yourself fit, then, you know, bravo, you know, yeah. props to you. But if you're one of these girls that follows Kim Kardashian and your goal in life is to look pretty and... Yeah. You know, you think you're a princess. You know who's a fucking princess? A motherfucking princess. princess you're yeah, prin you made a princess. princess yeah. I, I'm not going to get on a fucking knee and bow to you. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. I find value in so many other things. And I, sure. I'm pretty sure you, you would agree. But I, I'm really over these princesses, these American chicks. You know, they're yeah. not just I'm, American. I'm not royalty, so. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Exactly. <laughs> But just the it's the it's the package deal of ignorance, entitlement, and and overconfidence, cockiness right, right. that just you know it's like you're it's it's our gift that we're allowing them to yeah. to, to be able to speak to them. You know, I mean. Anyways, sorry for the tangent, but I just no, had to really get that hey, off my chest. Get it, I'm glad you got that off your you. chest, man. I, I think I think the people out there needed to hear that. Right. I think you needed to release that. You Definitely. need to let the world know. Absolutely. How you feel about, you know, an epidemic happening in our country. Absolutely. That's just not discussed on Definitely. the news, you Definitely. know. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> but, you know, and it could bring down our society. I agree. I agree. And, and the there disclaimer, the, the, I agree. The disclaimer here is that we're not, we're not trying to say that, that men are perfect no, in, in any way here. Not at all. But uh, we men have many flaws. Oh, yeah, uh, there's some plenty. terrible men out there. Yeah. And we'll, we'll definitely talk about. Maybe this could be a topic we could discuss Sweet later. asses. Sweet asses, no. yeah. yeah. Whole asses. Yeah, no. absolutely. Sorry asses. Sorry ass no. Punk asses. <laughs> but we, we, the thing yeah. is, is uh, Bra Uno and Bra One over here, we, we really value women. We, we, we value do. strong, independent, uh, yes. empathetic women. and uh, Critical thinking women. You, That's you... You are the backbone of, of all society, and uh, I, I could I know from a fact my mom uh, is the foundation of my life, you know, and uh, and I respect her and, and I and I love her with all my heart, and she, you know I know for a fact she looks at some of these women and she's just ashamed, you know, yeah. that they're you know that yeah. these are the women that we deal with nowadays. Like yeah. there's a reason why you know I'm single, yeah. it's because I can't. They're all princesses. I can't deal with it. 
It's because yeah. you're a male model, mm, bitch. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. Your ass is a male model. Like, for a normal dude, you know, it'd be like, man, this woman's beautiful. She's like a, an eight. And he's just like, ah, oh, she's like a five. <laughs> he's a true. fucking male model over here. Oh, no. You're too kind, yeah. sir. You're too kind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Sorry for the tangent. Uh, and we're back. All right. So the final definition of text bitch. We're still on text bitch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, is a woman who uses text messaging as her means of communication because she doesn't like the sound of her voice. And that is a thing. You know, there are yeah. a lot of subconscious people out there, and uh, yeah. not just women, but men too. Yeah. And I would say uh, have confidence in yourself. You Absolutely. Um, no Absolutely. need to use a text message. Send a voice chat. You know, yeah. if you use WhatsApp, I use that yeah. shit all the time. Uh, send a voice chat is so much easier. It's quicker. You know, yeah. it's, it's, you know, especially if you're going to drive or something, you shouldn't be touching your cell phone in general, but right. you can use Google assist to kind of right. like send a, a text out with your voice or something, you know, right. it's much easier. And that's actually a good Safer. segue to, you know, it's something we should talk about with, with the confidence, you know, like your voice is your voice. That's what right. you're given. You know, there are days I wish my voice was like James Earl Jones or right. uh, what's his name? Dennis Haber from the Allstate commercials. Mm, like, mm. or freaking Sam Elliott, one of those guys. I was you going know? there. Like, Actually, I, I, I'd settle for the mustache. Yeah, if I can I, grow that mustache. Know, right? that, <laughs> stash is, that stash is epic. Oh, we should have a Hall of Fame know? mustache yeah. countdown That'd someday. Be great, man. That'd be good. That'd be great, you know? But, you know, like, you just, you've got to own what you have, you know? Right, um, right. Just, you know, your voice is your voice and everyone's voice is unique so yep. you know don't don't be ashamed of your voice definitely you know your voice is your voice i mean you don't walk around the world and just you know you don't just hold up cards explain like for conversations you talk to people right so i don't understand why people don't want to you know speak on the phone it's like just mm -hmm. speak on the phone you know conversations are a lot better Right. The context is understood mm -hmm. when you when you're talking to someone. Sarcasm yeah, can be understood. Absolutely. You know, jokes now, can be delivered more appropriately. Yeah. I'm brilliant. So in a text message, I can pick up on the sarcasm <laughs> and all that good stuff. You know, I understand it. But a lot of people can't see that. And it's not because I'm brilliant or anything. I'm just saying, you know, with the conversation <laughs> with your voices, like you can understand things, you know. So yeah. we need to go back to that, you know. Um, Definitely. That's all. So, so yeah, that, that, that last definition is, is a pretty serious one, you know, so right. <clears throat> be confident in yourself. Like we joke around, we kid around, we make fun of everyone, we oh, make yeah. fun of ourselves, yeah. but in all seriousness, have empathy towards other people yeah. and uh, really, you know, uh, have confidence in yourself. Right. But don't be overconfident. Don't be fucking right. Kim Kardashian. Absolutely. Do you want to use some definitions? Oh, is it? Okay. Uh, let me give you a, uh, a sentence. Uh, do you, I'll be, uh, I can be girl one. You want to be Amber? Amber, okay. okay. Hey, Amber, can you call in and order two large pepperoni and sausage pizzas? I'll pay the deliverer. Can I text in the order? You know I don't like talking on the phone. I hate the sound of my voice. <laughs> OMG! <laughs> You're such a text bitch, Amber. Gosh, I'll <laughs> order the pizzas when I get out of the shower. <laughs> Four. <laughs> <laughs> <Half four. laughs> All right. So we're finally off that word. Yeah, okay, that one All took right. a while. That one took a while. Okay. All right. This next one's real quick. Um, and this is actually this isn't a word we made up. This is an actual term that used to be used in the 16th century. Um, I think it was still even used probably in the 18th century. But uh, really cool word. It's or phrase. And it is dribble draggle. I just love how that sounds. Yeah. Dribble draggle. So, dribble draggle. I would um, accept that immediately. The dribble absolutely. draggle. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think it's Swahili in order to. <laughs> 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 right. <I'm joking. laughs> Definitely an Arabic undertone there, so it might even be Farsi, but all right. Dribble draggle. That's spelled D R I G G L E. Uh, second word D R A G G L E. It's a noun. And it is a word or a phrase for a dirty whore, <laughs> or a sixteenth a sixteenth century term for a prostitute. Right. Um, so let me use that in a uh, in an example for well, you. Could folks. you assist us with a, with an accent in, yes, in yes. old English accent? Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <clears throat> Will thou slay with me for thine loaf of bread, ye jiggle jaggle ye? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> All right. The 
next one is <clears throat> uh, pronounced Yaldson. No. And uh, simply put, it is a prostitute's son, Yaldson. Yes. Uh, Doubts thou knowest what I did to <laughs> with thine <laughs> mother, Yaldson? Hmm, thou poured my masculine fluid <laughs> upon her bosom <laughs> and, and into thou mouth. Yeah, Mark is my Yaldson. I knocked up his hooker mother on accident, and she abandoned him like the hooker she is. All right, and then we have a conversation here between a dad and son. Yes. Um, do you want to be the dad? I'll, I'll, oh, I'll, I'll be the dad. Okay, I'll be All son. Right. I'll be the son. Uh, sit down, son. I have something to tell you, and you're going to want to sit down for this. Okay, dad. It's about your mother's past. Are you about to tell me how you and mom fell in love or something? Love? <laughs> God no, son. Your mother was a hooker. I never loved her. But we did have fun. Heck, that's how we ended up making you. What the fuck, Dad? No, <laughs> no seriously. What the fuck? <laughs> Dad, why did you stay with Mom all these years if you didn't even love her? Honestly, son... The sex is fucking phenomenal, all for a low price. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Come back here, y'all, son. Y'all, son. Get your ass back here. <laughs> y'all, son. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's y'all, son. But right? y'all, son is another word. Um, <laughs> it's a term from like the 16th century, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, from like the Renaissance, oh, you know. Old. Uh, those words are awesome. I, I wish we could bring some of, some of those words back and start using them again. You know, because they're pretty cool. They just sound a lot better. Like, our words are kind of filthy, you know? <clears throat> true, true. But There's like, definitely a, a, a level of yeah, class, even yeah. to the insults. I know. Like, it's like you call someone a dribble draggle. <laughs> it doesn't sound that bad, but it's pretty insulting, you know? Or you call someone a y'all son. It's like, okay, yeah, I'll be a y'all son or whatever. <laughs> You know, but you're not gonna know initially. It's like that means you're a, you're a hooker's son. You know, right, right. And it sounds a lot better to say you're the son of a hooker. Right. You yeah. know. Yeah, definitely. So a bastard. You know. Yeah, a bastard child. You know. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Our next word that got rejected. This this, this uh, I I have heard of people uh, being grossed out just from this word alone. The oh. first word. And yes. So this yes. this might you might have to hold on to your stomachs here. I don't understand that. I don't understand yeah, why people are grossed out by it that. It doesn't bother me either. I don't know why. Yeah. So the the first word <laughs> is or the the term that got rejected. It's a two part word. Moisture hole, and that is spelled moisture moist. <laughs> M O I S T U R E H O L E moist. Your hole. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, moisture hole. Uh, uh -huh. Definition of vagina. I mean, I don't need to use it in a sense. But I think you do. Go. I think you absolutely. Yeah, because you're right. There's some people out there who may not know what a vagina is. So. Definitely, maybe some young kids out there. <laughs> oh, please don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're in trouble. Kids. We're in so much trouble. So. <laughs> but uh, we should rate this R. Rate rated R. Definitely. Yeah, I know, right, bro. She had the most beautiful moisture hole that I've ever tipped. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Fantastic. Oh, man. I like it. All right. The next word that was rejected is boat. Yep. And it uh, has a French um, spelling, and it is spelled B-E-A-U-X-T, but go. pronounced boat. Uh, and the first definition is a Louisiana boat, mm -hmm. uh, also known as a boat in Louisiana. Mm -hmm. um, it is a Cajun Cadillac. That seems like uh, using a sentence. <laughs> Let's go hop in the boat and go down to New Orleans. Hell yeah. Let's do that, man. Let's do that, all right. That's some riverboat gambling. Yeah, absolutely. I'm good, yeah. Um, the next one is a phrase. It's the, uh, the most high five. Uh, T H E M O S T H I G H F I V E. What the most high five is, it's the highest of all high fives. The most high. That's right. The mm. most high. The highest of all high fives. You know? Um, like, you need to go to heaven to give the most high. Zeus most himself high would give you this high five. Absolutely. Like, it's literally a high five from God. Yes. 
This is this is high five fiving God. So you like do a good deed. Whatever deity you believe in. You're like you do a good yeah. deed, you get high five from God. Like Absolutely. you feel that high five from God. That's right. It's That's not just high. a high five. It's the most high five. It's the most high yes. five. Absolutely. The most high five. The most high five. Very Very good. Else. That's, oh, a, yeah. that's a pretty, I'd say mid-level <laughs> yeah, high five. Yeah, it's not the most high, it's not but the most it's, a, high it's a high five. It's a, high it's a high five. good one, Definitely. dude. Good smack on there. Um, did you want to use the sentence? Or, 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 or the, or you, okay, sorry. Uh, this this next oh. one, I know it cuts deep for bra one, and it burns bra uno. Yeah, I, this one's a different This one. is, this one, I mean, we've got to revisit this one. Yeah. I, we've, yeah. we didn't, in this one, we didn't combine words and create a word. We created and it, it, we literally invented a word yeah. um, and it's backed by statistics and everything. <laughs> we put a little bit of time into this one and uh, we love it. It's simple. It works and it was rejected and it yeah. breaks our freaking hearts. But hopefully we can revisit it. Right. And that word is base bro. One word, B-A-S-E-B-R-O. <laughs> and oh, it's yeah. a noun and uh, you can pronounce it in the French origin as best bro. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it is defined as a bro who only cares about Major League Baseball, the MLB, when his team is in the World Series or, or playoffs. Um, an expression used to describe most fans of the baseball community. Yeah. Let's stop right there because okay. I'm sure we all know base bros. We all know base oh, bros. Yeah. And we've yeah. defined it. We yeah. defined that, what that is. Exactly. I mean, we, we, we all know people who really don't give a damn about Major League Baseball until their team is in the World Series. That's yeah. actually like yeah. 90% of the MLB yeah. fans. Maybe you find, yeah. maybe everyone knows one person that watches every game in the season, but... I'm actually it. guilty of it, to tell you the Me truth. Me too. Because, it, it's uh, nothing to be guilty of. It's, I, know, I have right? the same thing. Yeah. It's just, that's called what it is. You're that's a base right. bro. You're I'm a base bro. You're a base bro too. I'm a base bro as well. I'm base bro. We're, we're all base bros. Who, who's, you know? your, who's your team base bro? I'm a Houston Astros fan. Now, <laughs> exactly. Now, anyone who understands, you know. Did you know they had a team until this past year? Of course. <laughs> okay. Of course, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to explain my story, all right? Damn. <laughs> Like I was, I was at a Houston Astros game back in like October 2012, and that was like they were the worst team in Major League Baseball that year. And I even think they were the worst team in Major League Baseball the following season as well. Probably most most but, of the years they've been. You know, I after watching that game, then you know, it's like man, it's gonna be a while until the Astros are ever relevant again. I didn't even know that they wrote some Sports Illustrated article, you know, saying like mm -hmm. you know. Like in 2017, they thought this team was going to win the World Series. So it was the first one, right? Yeah, it was their first one they won. This is like the, the I believe the third one they've been in the. Oh, okay. But um, yeah, so you know, I haven't, I haven't really been watching Especially too much. With, with the the cherry on top episode, all those, uh, all the flooding that went on yeah. past year, and yeah. you know, it was nice for the, for the local people there. Yeah. It was good for the city of Houston, you Definitely. know, for that, you know, but. Um, yeah, I've definitely I've been a I've been a base bro for the last few seasons. So yeah. I think I've always been a base bro. Oh really? I think so. I mean, I I, I played thirteen years of baseball. Oh, wow. Uh, I think even when I was playing, I was a base bro. <laughs> wow, that's yeah. interesting. I just it's a boring game sometimes. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah. it, it's fun when you get action. Like if you're playing center field, oh, your yeah. ball yeah. hits you. You can you know it's fun to do that. It's fun when you're yeah. batting, but otherwise, unless you're pitching, you know, you have yeah. that constant action. You're sitting oh, yeah. or, or standing by yourself, like in, in the. I mean, you know, yeah. it's really boring. And to watch it is even more boring, unless it's like bottom of the ninth. Yeah, you it's know, like a tight count. game. Yeah. Oh yeah. I and, and I get it. Like that only works. Like that bottom of the ninth. You know, full count. That only works if you sat through the first eight games. Like if you yeah. tune into a game and it's bottom of the ninth, two outs, full count. <laughs> You're probably you're not gonna have the same you know sitting on the edge of the couch as the person that's watched the entire game, especially right. if it's your team. You know, right. I get that, but boy, it's it's tough to, to get through, and that's why a lot of people don't watch the regular season games. Absolutely, you know, they, they watch the the playoff games. Right, right. So yeah, I mean, I think we can all agree. And then I mean, how many games are in an MLB season anyway? Like hundred and uh, exactly. <sighs> Uh, was it 160? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. So, I mean, like you can you can miss games. That, that, that's too many. Hundred, I don't know, hundred and something. Whatever yeah. it is, we you can miss games in Major League Baseball, just like in professional basketball. So, you can miss games because there's only a certain point in the season where they really. All right. 
right, sorry about that. We, we lost uh, connection again, but we're back. So uh, we'll continue with, with the definition of um, base pro. All right, so uh, the second half of this definition of, of base pro is uh, a typical baseball fans uh, that are disinterested with the regular MLB, AAA, AA, or college baseball season, um, if and only if the fan's favorite team is involved in the playoff, will said fan watch the game. Most individuals who can be represented by this term are what we call highlight junkies, you know, the, the ESPN, Sports Center Top 10 watchers, uh, which, I mean, I watch as well, but um, that's not the only thing I watch. Uh, they tend to only be interested in the box scores uh, and the in the highlight plays, the plays that make you go ooh and ah. Um, and so, using it in a uh, sentence, uh, we have, "Oh shit, the Seattle Mariners are in the World Series. Get ready for all the base bros to hop out of the woodworks." Paul is such a base bro. I had no idea the Sa San Diego Padres existed until he started talking about them being in the World Series. And like I said, we even added a little bit of statistics here. Maybe this is why I got rejected. But uh, in statistics, uh, <laughs> unlike the main other three American sports, hockey, football, and, and basketball, data suggests that baseball organizations earn more with the local contracts than they do with national contracts. This is probably due to the majority of base bros that make up the baseball community reported from the U.S. data and statistics office, yeah. which we also made up. But No, that's a real point. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, is, it is true. I don't know the exact numbers, but uh, baseball is is uh, unique to sports like basketball mm -hmm. and football, where, you know, football is so nationally known. Like, people, you, you, it's a dedicated Sunday. You turn on, on the TV and you see a nationally broadcasted game, where right. baseball is, especially back when I was living in, in New England, watching the Red Sox, uh, you know, you'd have a, a channel called Nesson, um, and they would broadcast locally the Red Sox games, you know, okay. and you're talking about 162 games, and they broadcast all the home games, right. um, and, and I believe the, all the away games as well, but every now and then, you'll turn on ESPN on Sunday Night Baseball, and it's a national audience, and you have the Red Sox versus the Yankees, or, gotcha. you know, like a, a, a premier game, but not every game is nationally broadcasted, and... Uh, they have, and I know for a fact, especially uh, cities like L.A., they have big major contracts with the Dodgers and, you know, the Yankees have big major contracts with the Yankees. Um, and they make, like baseball clubs, make really big money off of off those con local contracts, not oh, the wow. national contracts. Um, and so and basketball is an interesting one where, like, from what I read, um, it, it tends to be heavily loaded with local contracts uh, throughout the regular season because okay. it's another long season. But then when it shifts over into playoffs, the national audience and, and national uh, funding really kicks in heavy with that. With So like basically national um, viewership really kicks in to, to basketball during the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's true. I mean, baseball, I mean, it, they're full of base bros and I'm one of them. Yeah, it's true, man. It is true. A lot of people don't even like know all the teams and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Uh, I mean... It would take me a little while to, to name all of these. I, yeah. can name, I can name all Nowadays, football teams. Nowadays, yeah, me too. Like, yeah. there's a point in time where I should know all the baseball teams, and now it's like, I don't care. Yeah. Really. <laughs> sure. I have no desire. To, exactly. To <laughs> Same thing with the NBA, too. There's a time where I should know every single team in the NBA. See, I, and there I, I do know. There, there I'll be able to name. For the most part, I still know them. But, I mean, if they've changed, like, an organization <laughs> here and there, then I may not know anymore, you know? True. But I think I do know almost all of them in the NBA. But baseball, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm missing like a couple of teams now, you know? But I don't know. And how about hockey? Oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one, too. I used to know hockey, too, but nowadays, I can <laughs> tell you, bro. You know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Shall we move on? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, The next one that got rejected, and this one... um. It's like a combination of two words, really. Uh, two slang words used in kind of, of course, you know, very commonly nowadays. Uh, you see people call, call you know, people bees, 
which is short for bitch, and then of course ho. So which the word is, is short. the word is bio. <laughs> bio. You can kind of announce it a couple of different ways. Bio. 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 Yeah. Bio if you're Spanish. Bio if you're Spanish or something like bio. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's a it's a derogatory slang term for bitch ho. So I mean, use it in a sentence. All right, in Rock a sentence. Uh, hey, bo, stop your clucking and get your bo ass in the truck right now. Get your oh. bo weak ass. In. <laughs> yeah. There you go. We can start using combos. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the great thing. We can oh. just combo. Hell yeah! The next one is uh, another disappointing. <clears throat> I can't believe that. Yeah. That they did not accept this one. Yeah, this was uh, this was another sad one. Yes, it, this one actually makes me want to contemplate. <laughs> does it make you think? It makes yes, you, it, makes it you does contemplate. make me contemplate. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, what else does it make you do? Just contemplate. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so the word that got rejected, and this one, so we spent some time with this one, uh, is contemplate. And it is spelled C-O-N-T-E-M-B-A-T-E. -E. It's a combination of contemplate and masturbate. Absolutely. And uh, <clears throat> we have a number of definitions, so just stick with us on this because yeah. it's, a, it's a fun ride. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, contemplating uh, the act of masturbating, a mental state of purgatory, a mental loop in which one cannot accomplish a task without <laughs> masturbating first. You know, you know those days, you, know, you yeah. just can't do yeah. anything. It's like, until hey, you got to squeeze one off real quick. <clears throat> got to, just yeah. got to get it, get it done. <laughs> like, no, I cannot cook dinner until I squeeze one off. Right, yeah, you I know? can't start my day without Absolutely. You know, I, I, I cannot yeah. install your cable until I squeeze one off, you yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go outside to the van real quick and squeeze one off real quick, <laughs> you know. Got to think about some things. Exactly. <laughs> uh, next definition is uh, to ponder deeply about whether one should masturbate, and and some a sub definition of that is often experienced before a shower or sleep. Mm. Um, mm. You know, so like, do I have enough time yeah. to, to masturbate? Should I should I do it? Like, can yeah. my dick handle this? <laughs> um, <laughs> I've already masturbated three times. <laughs> 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 or like, hey, I've got the flu. Yeah. Should, I mean, should I, should I still? Should I still? <laughs> 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 you know, oh, the in-laws are going to be arriving yeah. pretty soon. Do I have time to masturbate before they get here? Like, that's that's a contemplate. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good one, man. Oh, uh, tell, tell the other deputy. All right, so we continue. Uh, to plan a future masturbation session, to propose the possibility of <laughs> masturbating. So, like, again, it's like uh, you can contemplate on, on previous, like, uh, you know, like, or sh do I have enough time right now to do it? But you can also plan yeah. a future event. Like, so say, for example, like a Friday night, right. um, you, you've had a long week and you're very single <laughs> and... Uh, you could maybe uh, be, it's, say it's Valentine's Day, right. and it's Friday night, and you're, right. and you're alone. Uh, and you could think about, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, contemplate, I'm contemplating right, right. now right. about doing a perturbation <clears throat> session later. You can I contemplate like about That's a perturbation session. That's so. good. That's good. <laughs> um, and getting perturbation. <laughs> I like that. Uh, when one has future time alone, a masturbation session may be planned. Um, and then the next definition of it is reflection, to reflect on a previous masturbation session. Uh, oftentimes, this reflection is purposefully done to plan a more efficient path to orgasm. Um, you know, you may remember what worked last time to right. get you to that point better right. this time. Right. You know, you might cut out the fat, you know, sure. like, you know, sure. thinking about Jenny, uh, yeah. that didn't help you. So, right. you know, thinking right. about uh, Dory does. Or, or you know, yeah, someone else. Absolutely. You know, you're like, okay, well, I'll just think about that scenario. Or like even the yeah. location, you know, like, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, so, so mainly females will consider purchasing a sex toy mm -hmm. to increase pleasure and cut down on time taken to reach orgasm. And that is an acronym that we, that we are going to uh, trademark. 
and yes. it's TTO, uh, time <laughs> taken to reach orgasm. Yes. So uh, mainly females will consider purchasing a sex toy to increase pleasure uh, to cut down TTOs. Yep. Yeah, those TTOs, you got to be careful. Absolutely. You know, you know, females, they're, they're, they're much more delicate uh, um, species. And, you know, guys, I, I, I know for, my, for myself, we just get in, get out. It's rough, you know, just yeah. get done. You know, like five yeah. minutes, good. You know, women, they, it's time, they need to have, like, set the mood. They need to be mentally prepared, you know. Yeah. Yeah. For us, it's just, like, recharging. Sure, man. Uh, so, yeah. using it in a sentence, uh, Ben constantly wakes up sexually frustrated and oftentimes will contemplate right before his shower. Sorry, Ben. Yeah. We've uh, all been there, Ben. Yeah, we've, yeah, I was there today. Hell yeah. Um, during a recent contemplation, Elena found herself purchasing a highly advanced rotating dildo mm. accompanied by super batteries to mm. cut down on masturbating time. Wow. Maybe she just use a... The Jill, the Maybe yeah, instead know. of purchasing that advanced, she can contemplate that. She can contemplate that. Yeah, you know, I Absolutely. think she should definitely contemplate <laughs> that scenario. I agree. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a long one, but I, I think it was well worth it. I do I, too. I can't believe it got rejected. I can't believe it. Yeah, it I just can't really, believe it. Oh. it was real, really. Yeah, so I mean, how many people out there contemplate on a daily yeah. basis? Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I don't know. Should we, uh, maybe, maybe we should revisit it, I guess. Yeah, well, we will. We will. Oh, some of these words are pretty good. We should definitely revisit them. You know? I agree. I agree. Let another set of eyes see them and see what happens. You know? Yeah, definitely. All right. Let's move on to the next word that got rejected. This, this is another, another good one. one. Yeah. I don't know why they rejected it. But all right. Here it goes. Master Flicks. <laughs> and that is spelled M A S. T U R F L I X. In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of masturbation oh, yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, um, you know, not from us, but you know, we just we know of, of scenarios, I guess, where people have to do stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh <laughs> oh, for those sweet asses out there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Those sweet ass fuckers. <laughs> Master flex. Uh, definition. Self-fornication. Uh, when a person does Netflix and chill solo. <laughs> a solo Netflix and chill. Yeah. A solo Netflix and chill. You know, when you when you want to Netflix and chill, but you don't have a partner to Netflix and chill with, you do it by yourself. Which could also lead to yeah. a perturbation. I could, could definitely lead to a perturbation. But um, if it doesn't, you're just, you know, just master flux it. Master, <laughs> you're master flux, flux it, you know? yeah, that's right. right. Um, let's use it. Like a t-shirt. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's use it in a <laughs> sentence here. Um, oftentimes, when a person is alone and single, he she will catch a movie on Netflix, which will lead to a pity masturbate. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Um, what's, let's. What, what's, is there a word for that? What? Pity masturbating. Yes, there is. Would you like to tell them? Yeah. Tell oh, Pitterbation. Pitterbation. That's right. Accepted. Who the hell made that word? We did. We did. I knew. But uh, <laughs> next word uh, or next definition for uh, master flicks is seclusion. Um, so I'll use it in a few examples here. When a person truthfully just wants to watch a movie or show alone and undisturbed. All right. Mm-hmm. So yeah. sometimes, you know, just be alone, yeah. you just want to be alone. Had a rough you know? week. Yeah. 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 You don't want to Netflix and chill with anyone. Right. You know, it's too just, much effort. You just want to Netflix and chill with yourself. Kind of get in a car, go to yeah. someone's house. Yeah. Like you just stay home. Oh, yeah. Stay in your bed. Yeah. Master flicks. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, another example. It's a mental state causing a person to desire time alone watching a movie or show. Mm-hmm. Now, we've done studies on this and... You know, <laughs> master flexing is, it's not, a, it's not that it's an epidemic and it's not that it's a bad mental state. It's actually a mental state that can we, be healthy. Actually. Absolutely. Yeah. Very healthy, you know, cause it's not self healing. It's not a dependent mental state. You know, it's like, it's not the state of being dependent on someone else for happiness. Right, right, right. It's all about being independent. You know? Absolutely. And you, you've established your independence. That's though, right. You yeah. love yourself enough to where. You just you just want to spend time with yourself watching a movie or right, show. Right. You don't have anyone else's 
you know, cackling or anything like that to do it. And you could be know? sick of those princesses. Just no, the princesses. Place, you know? Absolutely. Or you don't have to pause and be like, oh, I'm going to take a piss. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like every fucking or the 20, 20 minutes. Movie. Oh, yeah, like, oh shit. God, just... Or the, the phone blowing up. The texting. Know, yeah, like, like, oh my God, this like, Tinderella's on the phone again. Like, put that shit on silent. Mother, yeah, you know? yeah, definitely. Like, Absolutely. damn it, man. You know? Yeah. So, you know, um, let's, let's use it in a few more scenarios here. Uh, I've, uh, I've master flicks three times a day already and it's only three. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes. <You know? laughs> Another example. <laughs> in order to recharge her batteries and recuperate her energy, Elena saw some good quality master flicks. <laughs> good for oh, Elena. Good for Elena. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to give Elena a clap. You know, <laughs> yeah, good for you, Elena. You know, you're not you're not gonna get pregnant yeah, that way. You know, you're saving your money. You know, you're not dealing with all those foolish goofball men out those sweet asses out there. You don't have to worry about them. You're just worried about yourself. Um, the the next word, um, I honestly wasn't too surprised that it got. Rejected. I, I was still a little, little sad for sure, but oh, yeah. um, I wasn't surprised yeah. as surprised as like Master Flicks and yeah. you know, all these. But tell them um, why, because what this word is derived from is a word that we got published. It is a word that we published. So if you if you are just tuning in, we uh, talked about uh, accepted words from Urban Dictionary, like words that we have actually published on Urban Dictionary, and one of those words is tagho. T a g h o. It's basically uh, a person that uh, uses too many hashtags, you know, uh, just, I mean, you see these posts, these social media posts where it's, um, hey, I had eggs and bacon for, for breakfast, hashtag protein, hashtag love meat, hashtag, <laughs> <laughs> hashtag high cholesterol, don't care, hashtag long hair, don't care, and just on and on and on. And hashtag white girl rich. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hashtag basic bitch, you know, all these things that I, no one cares. First of all, I don't care about your post. And uh, second of all, I don't care about your fucking hashtags. Yeah. And it's a waste of my time. And I get upset with myself when I read those things. Right. So we did a remix to Tag Ho. And it's pronounced Tag Ho as well. But with a slight different uh, 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 spelling. It has French origin. Yes, it, if you, if it, you it has guess. a French twist to it. French, it has a little French uh, yeah. croissant to it, you know. Uh, and it is spelled T-A-G-H-E-A-U-X. Tag Ho. And it's uh, a different definition than the original tag ho, the American <laughs> uh, spoken tag ho. Uh, and the definition is when a Louisiana douche <laughs> uses an excessive amount of hashtags after making a statement. Now, uh, I need to clarify something there. We're not saying that people from Louis Louisiana are douches. No, That's no, no, we're no, saying no, at all. Not at all. We're just saying I when, a, when a specific douche from like Louisiana. You know, yeah, you have to be a douche right. and then from, from Louisiana. Louisiana. Right. But not, you're not a douche because you're from Louisiana. So right. if we have anyone from Louisiana watching this, please once again understand yeah. we do not hate Louisiana like, at all. It's a special case. Uh, if anything, yeah. you should feel honored. You That's know, like, right. Like uh, someone from Seattle mm -hmm. could just be considered tag home. Yeah. You know, but if you're from Louisiana and you're a tag right. home, now you're a tag yeah. home with a French We case. We can't even make a you know, specific one for Seattle, Washington. Yeah. You know? Who would want to? You know? I know, right? I'm, I'm just kidding. We love you, Seattle, too. <laughs> yeah, we love Seattle. I've never been there. Never but... been there. <laughs> Got some friends over there. <laughs> <clears throat> yep. Buyer here is awesome. You know? yeah. So Here it's pretty good. Pretty cloudy. Um, and it's also, the second definition is skillful. Uh, the t it's a title given to a master hashtagger. This is a very rare case. Absolutely. Very, very rare case. Um, in most cases, tag ho is an actual kind of like a belittling. Yes. Kind of, uh, yes. you know, like you don't really want to be a tag ho. Like, I guess you could, you just, you know, don't care, yeah. you know, and just be a tag ho. But, yeah. uh, it's not going to be a good thing when someone says a tag ho. But yeah. this is a special case. This is an honor. This is, in, yes. it's used in context. Uh, and it's when you're skillful, and it's a title given to you mm. as a master hashtagger. Ooh. Yes. So you're like the golden child of, the golden. of hashtags. Exactly. Ooh. So you, you're, not only are you, uh, do you meet the number of hashtags required, yeah. like, I, I, in my opinion, anything more than two right. is, you're, you, you're borderlining tag ho. Right. But if you use, like, one or two t hashtags, especially just one, right. and it's really right. skillfully done, 
you're you're a tag <laughs> tag hold master right there. I like so, that. Yeah. That's honorable. It is know? very honorable. I mean, that's that's you know that might be a title that some of you out there you know strive to strive to reach you know because if you do use a lot of hashtags, you don't just want to be a sloppy hashtagger. You know, right. you want to have this thing down to a science. You know, exactly. You do want to become skilled at it. Yeah. You want to know, you know, when 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 a post or when a comment needs like three hashtags versus when it needs ten, but those ten all have to be clever and witty. Right. You know, it's just gotta it's gotta be right. Well, and only I, know, I would even say that you know, if you're really good at it, one hashtag is all you need. That's all you need. You know, you know? and it's also and it it, yeah. it has the the foundation of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, the the uh, foundation of a good hashtag is is your post. So you got to make sure you're posting sure. something quality yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, so but there's quality, a lot that goes into it. A quality post brings out the best hashtag. Absolutely. You know? you, you can't have yeah. a good uh, a master tag ho without a right. without a really good quality post. Right. You got to get both hand in hand. So right. it's the highest honor someone can achieve in the field of applying hashtags to Absolutely. a statement or a post made in social media. Absolutely. Um, it's when a person exudes an astonishing hashtag game, uh, similar to an outstanding emoji oh, game. I right? know some people oh, that do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, some really talented artists. Absolutely, out there, you know? definitely. Yeah. Um, his hashtag game is strong. He's definitely a tag hoe. Interesting. Jason is such a tag hoe. How many hashtags does he need to describe a bowl of gumbo? Ooh, that would be a bad. That, tag -ho. Yeah, that's a bad tag hoe. And if you notice, you can't really tell with how. Uh, how I'm pronouncing it, but that's with the uh, the tag ho definition of the Louisiana definition. Nah, nah. It's not just your typical T G H O. <laughs> We're talking about gumbo here. Hell yeah! Uh, and with his one millionth photo hashtag, Mark is now earned the title of tag ho. <laughs> so he's a good tag ho. I want to say something here in the chat. Solomon Ali has posted a word called a bibliophobia. Oh, very nice. We, we look forward to it. Do you have a definition for that? Well, if he does, I think he should he should hold on to yeah. hold on to the word because we're going to be uh, live streaming our uh, submission of a word that we created, yeah. and we'd like you to join along with us. And Absolutely. Submit your word to Absolutely. Urban Dictionary. You know, you don't have to share that definition with us, but yeah. uh, if that is a word you you have made up, you know, of course I recommend do a search for it on Urban Dictionary. Mm -hmm. um, and then if it's not there, you know, make up a make up a definition and submit that. You know, mm -hmm. get on it. You might you might have a word published on Urban Dictionary today. You know, so definitely uh, give that a shot. You know, looks like it would. Seems like a pretty cool word. I'm assuming it has something to do with the fear of books or something like that. But uh, that's my guess looking at it. But um, yeah, definitely give that a shot. You know, that, that could be a cool word. I'm going to do a search for that right now to see if I find anything. Let's see. Biblio. Oh, it does exist. Okay, so the top definition for a biblia, a bibliophobia, it is an, an intense, all-consuming fear of running out of things to read. Nah, okay, <laughs> it's a good one. Um, let's see, using it in a sentence. I just finished rereading Eclipse for the 18th time, and Breaking Dawn doesn't come out for another month and a half. Burn, crash, die. <laughs> Uh, let's see, a bibliophobia is quickly becoming an epidemic, but not quickly enough. <laughs> Those are cool definitions. Did you, did you submit that, Solomon Ali, or is that just one of your favorite words? You can just type your response in the chat. We have a little bit of a delay. That's right. We do have a little bit of a delay. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh no, sir. Okay, so uh, so he didn't. Okay, well, we encourage you to create uh, some words on your own, yeah. um, even with a friend or you know by by yourself. Yeah. You know, uh, bra one and bra uno over here. We we've, we've uh, done both solo word creation and uh, combo creations. 
and it's fun and it's uh it's just it's a really exciting thing and use those creation vibes that you have absolutely and this one's cool because it's it's i mean it's free mm -hmm. it's easy you know i mean mm -hmm. it's i'm not saying it's easy to create a word mm -hmm. and a definition but it's not like it's you know it's not like making it. a song you know right. like i produce music you produce music right you know, you don't just hop in like, boom, I made a masterpiece in yeah. like two minutes. Right. No, right. there's a lot more that goes into making a song. Definitely. Well, you know? for example, we made, we together made the intro. Absolutely. To this, to yeah. This, yeah. yeah. Even though that was a quick little intro, it was not a very long song. It takes time. It takes time, you know. The creative process does yeah. take time, I agree. Yeah. To create, you know, a painting, that's not quick, you know. Um, just so many different creative works out there where... You know, it's not a quick thing. And I'm not saying this is necessarily a quick thing, but I think the process of it is you sit down, right. you think of a word that kind of resonates with you. Search. Right. Uh, you, you, know. you think of scenarios in your everyday life, yep. you know, and you just think of things that might be funny or interesting. Right. Combine them together, make a word, make a definition, submit it. Right. You know? Yeah. So to clarify, so like the creation of yeah. the word is not easy that takes a lot of effort um takes time but the urban dictionary and this is where uh you know he's the the owner the ceo of, of urban dictionary it really is a uh, a genius is that he has streamlined the uh the process of creating words like if you have an idea like the last thing that you want to be doing when you're creating something is have to deal with all the logistics of something like you you've put in the time and the effort and you you have something that you're holding on to a thought or you know an emotion and you don't want anything to cloud or you know disrupt that that creation. Right. And Urban Dictionary uh, has done a really good job of making the submission of words. Oh yeah, easy. really easy. And whether it get accepted or not is is yeah. different. You know, we we've had a lot of really good words uh, oh, yeah. rejected. We're we're Speaking reading of off a huge list of, uh, of yeah. words that have been rejected. Uh, last, I think this is the last one. If you want to bring us home, Brah one. Right. Well, before I do, I just want to. I was talking to Solomon Ali here oh, in the sure. chat. He was saying he create, or I don't know if it's a he or she, I'm sorry. But we'll just say Solomon Ali created Calm Passenger, but many people think it's wrong. Calm Passenger. Huh. Yeah. Solomon Ali, definitely, you know, um, get that word submitted, you know. Doka Doka Jihad. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> do sweet. Doka Doka Jihad. Oh, do it. Define it, man. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> get on it. But uh, definitely... Um, God, I cannot speak right right now. Okay. Um, submit calm passenger, you know. Um, of course we 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 like to joke around a lot, so you know we always recommend if you can put some we also humor have, into it. We also have dirty uh, uh, yeah, mindset, yeah. so we <laughs> but dirty sales, right? Dirty you sales, know, right. I mean, talk to any stand up comedian, which I have done stand up comedian comedy yeah. once. Yep, I remember and that. Actually. One of the first things I thought of trying was to, like sex jokes and stuff like that right. it's like the easiest thing and it just makes people laugh right it's kind of messed up but yeah you know definitely try out calm passenger see if you can get that published you know we always we <laughs> i'm sorry dude, i'm looking at <laughs> i just you know, look up at the screen i just see the nut as to ejaculate yeah what the fuck yeah, like, <laughs> right. I mean, Urban Dictionary has been used in the court of law, you know? To, oh, my God. To nut yeah. as, as uh, a definition of ejaculation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are dirty, you know? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, we, but we, we're also we hilarious. Fuck it. You, you'll see as this podcast continues yeah. uh, that we, we're, we're very deep, actually. We have yeah. a lot of we yeah. have a lot of things. And one of the main focuses of the podcast yeah. is that we're, we're going to show you that you can be dirty and be goofy and oh, stuff yeah. like this. But also... Yeah. You can be intellectual. We right. can have deep conversations. You know. Yeah. So, and, I mean, you're we'll, definitely going to see us on, you know, on future podcasts. We, uh, we're we probably going to have a very serious tone to us. It's like, we're point. light and funny right now because this is, like, who we are. But, you know, certain topics you don't want to present it necessarily with, with mm -hmm. that tone. Some you want to have a more, you know, practical and pragmatic. Right. kind of approach with it uh, you want to be taken seriously because it's you know serious information so okay but right. we should always still still try to sprinkle a little bit of a little bit of humor in though yeah i, I agree yeah. i think humor can be uh yeah. present in just about any situation absolutely you know? yeah uh, yeah but all right 
Um, let's get on to our last, I think this might be our last one, isn't it? Bring us home. Yeah, this is All our right. last one. This is our last word that got rejected. As of right now. We, As of right we're, now. We're yeah. still pending a few. Yeah. Um, that we know of, at least. So here it goes. The word is testo. All right. And that's spelled T-E-S-T-O-N-E. -E. And what it is, it's a pair of rocks that resembles a man's ball sack. Ball sack. So basically, like one of our words that did get published, gynorock. Gynorock. Yeah. Um, testone Isn't would be the, the male. Is every dictionary sexist? They yeah, they accept gynorock, but they don't accept testones. Maybe the testones on Urban Dictionary I over know, here, right? <laughs> yeah, for for uh, you know a website that has the word dick in their damn title. <laughs> it's in there, you know. True. God, I'm brilliant. Anyway. You are. You are. You are. <laughs> but yeah, you know, um, test out a pair of rocks that resembles a man's ball sack. So, That's right. um, I mean, once again, just like we said with, with Gynorock, there are certain natural formations out in nature that resemble human body parts. And right, right. A lot of them resemble human uh, sexual rep, you know, reproduction organs. Um, yeah, you're correct. So, if you ever see two boulders that are really round and smooth, you might think to yourself, hey. Test stones. Yeah, that's test a, stones. That's a pretty big. Yeah, because, I mean, two balls, you know, a pair of balls, you know. Okay, it's not pool, right? Pool, you have how many balls in the game of pool and billiards? Um, Whatever, it's question. many, you know. More than two, definitely. Yeah. yeah, I don't know the number exactly at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> In basketball, there's only one ball. There's one ball. Soccer, there's only one ball. That you play with. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's our <favorite. laughs> There's a lot of balls out there. But just one that's yeah, played man. With. In baseball, there's only one ball. You Again, know? that's played with. Yeah. So, you know, you see a pair of balls <laughs> in nature, you're going to think to yourself, testones. Testones. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the Grand Canyon is full of huge test stones. Really huge. Like, really like huge. check out the test stones on this <laughs> rock formation. Shit, right? Like, <laughs> my God. You know? yeah. Grand Canyon's got some balls. Definitely. And there's, there's different, like, uh, you know, textures of the test stones as well. Some are really, really, really oh, hard, yeah. you know? Like, oh, yeah. some are, as a mineral, really, really soft test stones. Yeah. They, they crumble, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, man, with that being said, those are... Uh, those are all of our words that, yeah. you know, of course, we already went through all of our published words. Mm -hmm. Now we've gone through all of our rejected words. We have. And I think uh, as the podcast continues, we may uh, introduce a segment. I don't know. This is just me thinking out loud here. Yeah. Where we, uh, if we get a word accepted or rejected, yeah. we will, you know, do word of the day from uh, Urban Dictionary. E even we yeah. could just, if we found uh, a quality word or a funny word or, yeah. or just a terrible word that we wanted to discuss... We'll do a segment on Urban Dictionary. Maybe yeah. it could be part of the podcast for from here on out. Maybe, maybe yeah. you know, yeah. Because yeah. we do, we do love Urban Dictionary. That's we have a lot good. of fun. I love it. I mean, that's a way we can tie it in with this yeah. as we go on. Because you know, this is our only episode where we're going to be discussing this. You know, this is also for those of you who aren't aware. This is our pilot episode mm -hmm. of our podcast. So this is our first podcast. Right. But we wanted to do a topic that we we're both. You know, we we both are invested in this because we both have our you know <clears throat> we have had words individually published the words we've created together you know Combo. so we're we know everything about the process and everything it's not something we really had to research it's yeah. just we're just talking and, naturally and yeah the, the topic is not urban dictionary the right. topic is creating words right. in urban dictionary, absolutely so, which is what we we think we're right. experts on so yeah um. I, I think we are and it's not being cocky like all joking yeah. aside like we we aren't being arrogant when we say that mm -hmm. i mean we have once again what how many words have, have been published 13 15. yeah 13 14. 13 13 words published on urban dictionary dictionary mm -hmm. you know so i mean it's not easy to get a word published, you know, like mm -hmm. try it out, yeah. you know, submit a word right now and see if it gets published, you know, you tell me how easy it is. So <laughs> the fact that we have 13, two pending right now, you know, yeah. I mean, I think our goal is just to get as many words in the Urban Dictionary as possible. And go down to the yeah. Oxford Dictionary. <laughs> <That's right. baby. laughs> Maybe one of these days Urban Dictionary will just like 
create a section for us. So yeah. like, these guys yeah. have contributed the most fucking words to Urban Dictionary <laughs> of all time. Like, <laughs> Brown one and yeah. Brown Uno tab. It'd be a tab yes. on Dictionary. Sullivan Ali dictionary. says, while well, great, two living legends. Thanks oh, a lot, thank Sullivan you, Ali. Thank you, sir. You we as are. well. <laughs> <laughs> we are absolutely legends, and legends never die. Always remember that. <laughs> 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 but you can become legendary too. All of you out there, just you can all submitting. become legendary. And you know, it begins with your own yeah. vocabulary. Yeah, it becomes, create your own words. All right, you know? right. And this is, you know, it's fun. This is Urban Dictionary, but on a on a bigger note, I guess. You know, you can use that same logic and do anything. Because nowadays, you know, the power is in our hands. You know, even though there are certain things trying to prevent. It seems like for us from doing this stuff now, but Maybe we should talk about that at some point. At some point, but you know, like if you're a musician, no longer do you have to have a record contract, you know, right. to get your music out there and stuff like that. Because right. you don't have to have your music played on the radio, you know. I mean, you can really put up the money yourself to stream your music on one of these streaming services, you know? The the end of net neutrality yeah. uh, bothers me a little bit, but sure, uh, sure. talent definitely, uh, shall we say, the uh, cream rises. Oh, yeah, it know? always and, does. And if people find you talented, yeah. you know, your, your legend continues. Yeah, continue. absolutely, you know? But so, so shall we uh, wrap up here with a um, creating a word? That Let's we, try it out, about? man. That's Should what we, we said we are going to do. Yeah. So we're, we're men of our word, you know? Should we start with the... the the origin of how we discovered the yeah, word yeah just like as an example sure sure you know maybe we should pull up like a notepad or something like that and okay try to get her going well so you want to give the background story of, of uh like how, how it happened um yeah but first we don't even have the word finalized yet so well this is yeah okay yeah all right so yeah we are like, we were about to set up our podcast here, and we were saying we were excited, you know. Uh, it's our first podcast. We're about to go live. Everything was ready to go, so we are excited. But, you know, doing a podcast isn't like, I don't know, it's kind of a nerdy thing, I guess, you know. Um, it is. Not everyone's out there doing podcasts. I mean, there are a lot of people out there doing podcasts for all kinds of things nowadays, but... You know, I, I still think it's kind of a nerdy thing I, to get all I, I had giddy a girl, and excited. I had a know? girl that wanted to hang out yesterday. And, uh, <laughs> Tell I, them, yeah. <laughs> Tell them that, man. You had a girl who wanted to come <laughs> hang, out. hang out. Yeah, people, hang out. And, you know what that means. <laughs> And uh, and he I and the G. I denied the uh, the request because I said I was hanging out with my friend, uh, bruh one, and I didn't oh, say bro. Awesome. Yeah, you are pretty, I'm awesome. pretty awesome. And uh, and doing nerdy stuff, and yeah. she was just like, uh, really? And I was like, yeah, you fucking damn right. We're gonna do some do some really cool nerd yeah. shit, and uh, I was nerd excited, yeah. which led to the definition of. Well, uh, do wanna, we don't we do don't know the it? name of it yet, but knighted. I, I I say we we try with knighted, nerd excited, knighted, knighted. Maybe, maybe we could try that. Let's let's Google or let's Urban Dictionary search for. Okay. Uh, well, we ha we have some proposals, you know. Knighted is no oh, do we where? No, no, no. I'm saying we have oh. some. Uh, oh, some oh, that's right. Okay. Word proposals. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. We got nerd excitement. That's good. Nerd excitement. That's it. <laughs> and then. <laughs> <Not yet>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's a lot different doing this shit live. Huh? <laughs> All right? <laughs> what do you think, though, man? You know, Should I actually. Should we go knighted or. Knighted or. I like uh, nerd sighted. Nerd excitement is pretty good. Maybe. Which one? Oh, um, nerd excitement! Yeah, nerd excitement is pretty. I like that. Um, so, well, there's two different. Like, so it's it's knighted, which is nerd excited, and then nerd excitement is nerd excitement. So two did we have two two words that we can actually try to publish yeah. there? Okay, so you said the first one is knighted, right? Knighted. That one. Yep. And yep. then the next one you want to go with is this one, nerd. Nerd excitement. Nerd excitement. Okay. Yeah, I like that. What do you think? I like that. Okay. Yeah. Good. Use a, we use the same definition. Yeah. 
So uh, how do we want to define it? So first we can, let's search, make sure knighted doesn't exist. Okay, knighted so. Knighted doesn't exist, okay. When you search for a word that doesn't exist, right. um, it, it basically brings you to a, a page where you can either define it or you can just keep searching. And yeah. what more often than not, uh, one and, and myself, uh, we define it. Oh yeah. And so if you click on the define. We're, we're originating. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. We we get excited. And this we get nerd sided. We when, get uh, we get knighted. Or we get knighted. We get knighted. And we see a word that we just thought of and we type it in and there's no definition for exactly. it. Exactly. So that means it's a word that doesn't exist. Exactly. You know? I mean there's nothing yeah. holding you guys back nope. from doing this nope. either. You can you can do it. Yeah. Um, so let's we click on defined, uh, define it, and it brings you to a new page and the title of that page is called New Word. And it has the def the word um, ready to go for you, and then it gives you a couple text boxes where you can def put your definition, right. uh, use it in a couple sentences. Right. You can put it in a couple sentences, and you can actually uh, use a, uh, create a list of hashtags, but make sure you're not a tag ho. Absolutely, um, just keep it nice, short, and sweet. Yeah. You know, you can become a master tag ho. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, how shall we uh, should we uh, define it, my my good friend? I'd say definition one, excitement between nerds. Okay. <clears throat> definition two, what do you think? Um, say, uh, nerd, let's, how about, uh, a, Respective nerd that comes across some thing or event nerdy. that is nerdy, nerdy and also tingles. <laughs> 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 Mine. Okay. <laughs> Maybe uh, change that tickles. Exciting. The nerd. To tickles? Yeah. You don't like tingles? <laughs> no, I, I do like tingles actually. We could do tingles slash tingles. Okay. Tickles Let's slash tingles. Okay. Tingle slash tickle. That's right. You guys are watching word, word word creation live. That's right. You're not watching it, but you're hearing about it. You're you're, you're part of history here. That's right. You're part of history. Um, you're fucking experts. <laughs> we we could teach a course on this, bro. We should. Oh my god. Creating yeah. more than dictionary. <laughs> one hundred and one. We can go beyond that, like how to create new words. Period. You know, <laughs> we're making a whole entire new dictionary. Exactly. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. Um, is, are you, do you want, for now, do you want to keep it there or do you want to keep, keep, uh, let's see, let's read over the excitement between nerds, respective nerd that comes across something or an event that is nerdy, uh, and also tingles, tickles, said nerd's mind, hence exciting the nerd. Okay. Good. Yeah. I can't really think of anything else, man. Right. Now. And I mean, short and sweet is always good. I mean, yeah. we can, we can always yeah. develop it later. We can, uh, but for now I think it's good. Oh, sorry, no. oh, you're fine. I'm going to type that too. So that way we can get the second one going. All right. And then, so I have posted or I've, I've, uh, placed, I've copied it. So we wrote our, our definition in word and I copied and pasted it into the urban dictionary. A new word page and shall we use it in a sentence okay hmm what what should we do tim watched the first trailer of star wars and he came Extremely knighted. Knighted. 
That would be example number one. Let's see, example two. Okay. Submit that. All right. Let's oh, do it. Let's find some hashtags. Oh, yeah. Hashtags. Okay. What shall we do? Um, <clears throat> hashtag nerd. Hashtag geek. Hashtag physics. No. <laughs> <laughs> you borderline <laughs> tag, though. I'll joke it. I don't know. Um, Excitement, so excited. Ooh, oh, hashtag yeah, so excited. We do love that. We love so that word. Excited, so excited, so excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people, you are uh, oh, witnessing man. magic. History, in the making. magic. Yep. Uh, oh, no. yeah. We're gonna go ahead Make and your fucking dreams come true. Should we try to find a GIF or? Let's see what we can find. You see, know, see what we got like there. a pocket protector. Or something. Yeah, right there. Okay. Oh, Whoa. Oh. Yeah. How's that oh. Like? oh, yeah. I think I'm thinking that. Oh, yeah. Like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right. We got Urkel. Now we've got a gift. And simply, so, we just. Man. uh we just Do click it. submit. Oh yeah! Boom! Bam! And we well, will get an you email. You gotta sign in though. Oh shit! Sign in. All right, no. <laughs> we got false sighted, false knighted. <laughs> we got false knighted. I say again, we had a false knighted situation. False knighted. It has false knighted. Oh my god, that's. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> we got ourselves another word, people. Knighted. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and this is how it goes. Oh, shit. We're going to type that. What did we say? False. Nightman. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, let's see. Should we use this one? Submitted. Should I spell it like that? Or should I make it to you? I like, I like to. Okay. Or unless you... False nightman. False nightman. False nightman. Okay. Okay. What do you think? Do you like it better as one word or two? False nightmen. Or false nightmen. False nightmen. Because hmm. it was if we do false nightmen, then we're restricting ourselves to just the you know false nightmen. But if it's two words, we could do false nightmen, or it could be, or if we just do nightmen, you know, and you can use false or like proper nightmen or good nightmen. Good nightman. <laughs> I like good nightman a lot better than I like this word. Good nightman. Good nightman. Good nightman. <laughs> good nightman. <laughs> Another way to say good night. Yeah. You know? It's the act of saying good night. <laughs> yeah, oh, there we go. yeah, shit. I'm excited nerd. My God. Do you see how easy it is, guys? Man, it just keeps. keeps Once going. you get the creative juices flowing, shit just rolls off the tongue. You know? <laughs> Very good. So I'm going to work on that new word. Good nightman. <laughs> good. I like it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So well, basically, we just submitted that word. Um, can you log into our email account and see if maybe oh, sure. see if we've gotten a response? I doubt we've gotten a response already. Probably not yet, but. Right here, man. I'm gonna before we wrap this up. I'm gonna submit this word too. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Okay. Good night, meant The act. Uh, saying good night. So nothing yet, but uh, they they usually take what about an hour, maybe two hours, sometimes three to respond. Okay. Um. So we'll we'll see what happens and. Uh, of course, um, Good Nightman does not exist. Yes. So Good let's define it. Oh, uh, Ali has uh, Egregor. Egregory. Ooh. Ugh. 
I'm interested. I'm intrigued. Dude, you should submit that, buddy. Submit it. Don't, see, don't search submit it. Submit it to us. Yes. Submit it yourself, man. Well, yeah, search Urban Dictionary, oh, see yeah. if it uh, exists, and then uh, if not, you can get on the board. What do you have so far? Let's see. Good night, man. The act of singing good night. Oh, very good. Okay. Um, saying good night too many times. Okay, very good. Um, it, it could also be, like, as a separate definition, it could be um, good intended excitement from a nerd. Like, so proper. Um, nerd excitement. Proper nerd. Proper, you know, or like, um, good intentions from nerd excitement, you know? So good, good nightment. Yes. Very good, very good. Let's see. Example. Example A. Um, John displayed er, a state of good night. <laughs> Taking it. Good. And then B, how would I define good intentions from a nerd's excitement? That one. How would I use that in that example? So uh, maybe something along the lines of uh, Jeff became. Became knighted when he. Well, right, good night. Well, yep, so. definitely. Well, so stay with me. Okay. So, um, Jeff, Jeff became Jeff knighted. became knighted when he noticed the good intentions of Luke Skywalker in Return of the De Jedi and simulated that to good nightmare. You see where I'm going though? You know, like it's like a yeah. good intentions, like it's like a good turn the Jedi and fake nightmare. We could scratch that and start over, but Okay. You get what I'm saying, right? I think so. Yeah. Well, uh how do you say this uh good nightmare? Um
So what I'm doing right now is I'm also submitting a word, so. another word that has been submitted so yeah good night mint um not spelled like that but no not the night not like the warrior but night as in n-i-g-h-t that night but uh it's like we said guys we were going to over our podcast submit a couple of words live um so i mean you guys got to hear our process doing it It's not hard, you know, Um, just let those creative juices flow with anything, you know, I'm a pretty creative person myself. Um, Like I know, never try to force things, just, you know, let an idea come to you and develop it. You you saw how natural it was. Exactly. uh, Brah one and brah one over here where we just... It wasn't forced. Yeah. You know? We laughed, we kept it light, you know, Uh, and and it just, it flowed, it worked, and some, you know... With creating things, at least I've seen, uh, a lot of it is garbage. Right. You know, a lot of the stuff right. is, you're going to find that's just, yeah, okay, what, what was I thinking? Or, right. you know, like how pathetic it is. But some every now and then you, you stumble across some gold. Yeah. And uh, we hopefully uh, just would like to, uh, the main purpose of this is to inspire your creativity and, and uh, hopefully you begin to create your own vocabulary. And oh, that, yeah. you know, expands into other realms. Absolutely. You know, so I mean, it's not hard to do. Um, yeah, try it out, guys. Get get some words created or whatever. Whatever it is you want to do that's creative. Just do something, you know. Yeah, and if, uh, if that's it to that's uh, it. our podcast, we can fade out here. But uh, yeah. um, I think we should play our, uh, play our song again. Absolutely. And uh, cool. thank you all for joining us. And this has been uh, QBT. Quality breath time with breath uno and breath one. Thanks for tuning in, guys.